Hi everyone. So right now I'm using the Chameleon light or Empath light or the Cha Empath light. Yes, the uh, Cha Empath is white. I got a lot of comments on that. Now I have the uh, radiating element which is about 17 foot tall. Uh, in this case also I used a counterpoise wire that's yellow that's only 31 or 32 and a half feet long and the reason is I didn't want to put any I didn't want to put a 30 no the 60 foot uh, the 60 foot long counterpoise because you know people are like right now they're playing at the park and if that extended it any farther you know people might trip on it but the question is will a 31 32 and a half foot counterpoise uh, be effective. Well, I tried it already at home, and if you watch some of my um, videos in Instagram, at home it was pretty amazing. Now, let's look at Antscope here. All right, so this is the SWR chart for the Chameleon uh, Empath Light uh, for the setup where you have a counterpoise of about 32 and a half feet long wire uh, you have over here at 7.28 megahertz we have an SWR of 3.1 3.48 I'll tell you something also um, in this particular case I put some water uh, near the, the spike just to see if you can get better conductivity and it didn't it, it didn't change at all so it really is that um, it's the whole system, right? The whole ground system is really different than compared to my home. If you watch my other video on Instagram, uh, when I did this at home, I had an excellent SWR for uh, 40 meters. Now, one of the reasons um, having a shorter wire, not only for you know people tripping, but also for deployment, right? Uh, you know, um, a 60 foot wire, uh, wrapping that up is a little bit more challenging than wrapping up a 30, you know, about a 30 foot piece of wire. Sure, you might get a different performance, just a little bit better. But overall, in this particular park, I've always noticed that the, um, the SWR for 40 meter is not that great, uh, regardless of what part of the park I go to. And it has to do a lot probably with the ground. Now, if I go over here at 14, 1420 megahertz, right, which is the foam area SSB for uh, 20 meters, look at that, an SWR of 2.0, which is beautiful, uh, very acceptable, don't need um, a tuner. And you can see from 14, from or 13.6 to about Oh, I would say 25.29, that range has an SWR below 2.3. And then you go here at 28, you go into the threes. Um, and then there's a dip over here close to 50, but this is at 44.26, which is a 1.3 um, SWR. So if you go to 50, you can see at 50 megahertz, right? all of 50 it's below three okay now let's look at uh, the parameters here and let's go with um, 7225 right which uh, we can speak in in that in that particular uh, frequency SWR 3.5 so we're gonna have to use a tuner we have a uh, impedance of uh, 58 which is not bad and then return loss look at this at 5.15 db yeah swr is a bit high so not very efficient we're going to need a tuner and actually we need a tuner here at this part i'm over here in anaheim right now um so let's go to let's go to 14300 Ah, 14.300, that's the marine mobile band. 
right? Net SWR 2.0. Impedance is at 24.7. Hmm. Um, a little bit low there, isn't it? Um, not that great. And then the return loss is at 9.38 uh, uh, dBs, which is not bad. The higher the number, of course, the better. So thinking about um, thinking about uh, this particular deployment, you know, it gives you a lot of bands, that's for sure. And with the right, um, with the correct uh, tuner, well, not the correct tuner, with the tuner, you're able to do a lot more, right? Now, compare that to, you can't really see it here. No, you can't. It's very hard to see where that is. It's right there. It's almost at the center of the screen. That is a quarter wave ground plane antenna. Now that's only cut for 20 meters. And the performance on that is way better. But having a quarter, uh, quarter wave ground plane antenna for one band uh, might be the way to go if you're only at that band. But if you need multiple bands, the, uh, the uh, Cha Empath Light seems to be uh, a pretty good favorite. Now, as you can see, the deployment of a 32 and a half foot wire instead of a 60 foot uh, wire uh, makes a difference. I have used a 60 foot wire in this park and the SWR doesn't seem to have changed uh, or the or the pattern of the SWR chart. Even after it rained, it didn't really change too much. So um, maybe you can cut this wire to 16 and a half foot. Would it be very similar? I don't know. Maybe we should try that. If I have a 16 and a half foot wire, I'll try that. So hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, deploying the uh, the uh, chameleon and pass light with a shorter counterpoise wire.